this is the Blue Water Shopping Centre. Here are the lifts in Marks and Spencer. From a distance they look like really nice lifts, but they're actually extremely slow. In a way it's a bit like the ones in, um, what was, in Lakeside, but at least the ones in Lakeside have, a, like, a bit interesting and have the roof, out, have no ceiling. These ones are just boring, and they're unreliable, like, this lift is not working. Also the maintenance keyhole in this lift is on the floor and it's all got dirt in it because of the gravity it's clutched on the floor. It's really weird that the maintenance keyhole's on the floor. Even though it's going really slowly it still feels the need to level a third of its normal speed. It's like half a meter a second. And like, UK lift. Doors closing. This lift is going up. It's got the, the weird voice, like the silly voice lift in Tunbridge Wells. Well. And now we're going up in an unreliable lift. Floor one. The ceiling is the only thing, this kind of dome thing is the only thing that stops it looking like a boring typical Mark and Spencer and the air conditioning system. And this is the clock and because it's in a shopping centre it's really difficult to read and it's inaccurate, it says the time is before what it actually is. It says it's about half past, is it? It says it's about um, half past one and it's actually just one two. Um, and so um, this this clock and what it actually is, it's supposed to go down to the bottom and it's supposed to move gradually but it actually moves incrementally which is looks silly. So now it's the first of the automatic lifts. I don't really like the automatic lift system. I mean it, it would be... I like how custom announcements, I mean, it would be more efficient and it wouldn't have to make so many return journeys all the time if, instead of having a sensor. It were to have, it would to have um, just on each level when you push the button, like destination dispatch, because there's only one floor, so you wouldn't have to push the button inside. I can't get the exhibition area that is under renovation to the cinema. Mm -hmm. This lift is a generic. This is one of those boots got to replace their, um, their Schindler, Schindler mobiles. I, I, I rather like Schindler mobiles. It's a really nice lift design. And like, what would be awesome is to get Schindler mobiles on a curved track. H and M. This shop used to have a Schindler MOL, which is now being replaced with an Eco disc. I'm modernising to look at this tub tower. No, it's not. It's called it 0, 1 and 2. The lift calls it lower ground, upper ground and M. Let's see what M stands for by going there. They put stickers next to it. It's very similar to the one in Bentall Centre. at the mezzanine even that's the highest floor because I mean mezzanine like a floor in between the floors and now into next which is a boring Oakland lift it appears that there has been a modification to the shaft door locations as there are two doors in the cab 
one of which isn't used but used to be. Questo ascensore è mantenuto da Tecno. Nostri ascensori parlano con accento italiano. This just has a weird rubber button. This is this. I don't know which one's the actual button, but there's this, you press it, and there's this rubber button. Mind the doors, please. Go down. Oakland. It's boring. I like the cab layout, but the part that's boring is the ceiling. And the indicator goes off between floors. It's boring, this lift. This lift is maintained by ground floor. This lift going up. And it says, this lift is maintained by Techno Lift UK Limited. Now it's another of the automatic lifts. I rather like this weird pattern in the doors. Why is it done an alarm? when I push the button. And if you look in these doors, there's a door lift, like an old Otis door. There are two Otis lifts in there. Mm -hmm. Otis did doesn't we? Yeah. Nice. Short now. Oh, we've got mummy for you. Sure. Are you a tourist then? So they're now into a garden area, they're like this garden area. This is a garden. And here's another clock that they've made a rather obscure clock. This is an astronomical clock. And they put it in, I think maybe with the assumption that there will be a lot of poorly educated people visiting here who won't be able to work out how to read an astronomical clock. And also, the astronomical clock says that it's November. It's not November. Also says it's um, quarter to three. And I think it's, what time is it? It's, it is nearly quarter to three, so that's correct. But the astronomical section is not correct. I think most of the people who maintain this are also poorly educated. And so, um, so they so they don't know how it works and they don't and because or is it supposed to be facing in the opposite direction because that's confusing now it's another lift I saw them go into the lift and they weren't very clever. And they went up and back down again because they got confused. Now to the lift in Zara. This is a 
crisps in this list and I keep stepping on them. Hydraulic Otis. Now it's the lift in the Phoenix car park. This also goes beep, which is strange how they go beep. But it was disabled people. And it's not an automatic lift. And the fly that's flown into the lift. Completely awesome cone office series list in John Lewis. Going up. Going up. I'll do this indication here on the work. Second floor. The left lift went on to nudge mode. Now it's the middle one. This one didn't chime, sadly. And the front is in nudge mode. Going up. Dian Di Shang. Now it's the rose gallery lift. This is the top floor. This is the top floor. This lift terminates here. Please exit the lift. Carson, uh, April out. <coughs> this lift terminates here. Please exit the lift. Now it's another lift. This is the bottom floor. This lift terminates here. Please exit the lift. That beeping is annoying. <laughs>